Welcome to Tasting Wine. Ah, I'm Haley. I'm Joe. Today we are Tasting Wine. We have 19 Crimes. 19 Crimes. Yeah. <laughs> Remember this stuff? Remember this stuff? Like, who has not seen 19 Crimes yeah. in any sort of grocery I feel like store? if you drink wine, you probably had to have seen this because they've had it everywhere. Ooh. Yeah, so this stuff is... Everywhere. Everywhere. It is really everywhere. I feel like this came to the U.S., I would say, like, maybe three years ago? Five yeah, years ago? I think so. Yeah, but they were ready. They were ready. They were ready. They were ready to Definitely. hit it. Definitely. Yeah, they were ready to it hit, hit it. the market, hit the market hard. Oh my gosh, this smells like a spaghetti dinner. What? You think yeah. it's because we're cooking spaghetti right now? No, first of all, we're cooking lasagna. Oh, whoa, there's... There's something weird in the middle. No, it's like tomato. It's like a yeah. tomato sauce. There's tomato. Yeah, there's something yeah. weird. Yeah, so. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. It is. It kind of has like that acidity of a tomato. But it's also got like some blackberries and blueberries. There's black pepper. Yeah, and stuff like that. It but... smells like fresh mozzarella cheese. Yeah. Like right in the middle, there's like a hint of like some something fake. Like fake, fake... sugar? Yeah, like fake sugar or... Fake vanilla or... I don't, oh, it's probably vanilla. You know, I feel like... I don't know what the standards are in Australia, but uh, like at least here in the United States, I can add up to like 2% of whatever they want to wine and not have to say... I'm not kidding you. This is like such spaghetti dinner. This is, huh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Because it's the pepper, the tomato, the mozzarella with a weird fake vanilla in between. Whoa, you gotta try this. This is so funky. This is so... This is so funky. Yeah, so when 19 Crimes hit the United States, it was like 20 bucks, 25 bucks some places. Yeah. And now it's $7. You yeah, know, so I'm like, what's going on here? Did they hit it with like a higher product, get like, you know, get people addicted to it and then start making a lower quality product? Was it always a low quality product? I don't know. I think it's, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, their marketing was awesome. It was like, a bunch of different prisoners and I remember being like yeah. oh my god like what's this prisoner what's that prisoner and then they had that like really cool interactive thing they still do put, that yeah yeah so you could like put your phone up to it mm -hmm. and then like the prisoner will talk to you yeah. and like tell you like their life story or whatever yeah Snoop Dogg has one some other people have them yes like 10 like out of 10 would recommend for yeah, marketing their marketing yeah is still really it's really good unreal but I just I just wonder about the price because when it came out I was like oh my gosh I never had a wine from Australia you know, so it yeah. was kind of like, oh, one of like the first like mass marketed Australian wines. Mm -hmm. you know? By the way, this is a 2018 Cabernet Sauvignon. I don't yeah. think that we said that. Yeah. We were just jumping right in. But yeah, the taste but is... But the taste is funky. Yeah, it's, no, it's not, it's kind of mellowed out a little. It's funky and then kind of flat. Like there's not really much going on. Like there's some like synthetic -y type of like flavors of like blackberries and blueberries and then like a good amount of vanilla or sugar something like that and then it's just kind of flat so it's initially a wet sock and then it transitions for me at least and then transitions into that weird synthetic like additive vanilla and then it gets the rest hmm. of that stuff i'm very curious i wonder I, don't know. I wonder what they are adding if they are adding something or if they're doing something weird because even on the finish the finish is super long and it has like that fake i mean you know when you have like a starburst you know it's not food they're really good, but it has that waxy synthetic taste right. to it. This has this at the very, very end. Did you say cinnamon at all? No, I didn't say any cinnamon. I get cinnamon, but it's like in a weird way. It kind of like hits the beginning of your tongue and kind of like wraps around like up your cheeks and then kind of just like disappears. Yeah. I mean, if you're new to wine, you may find this wine incredibly enjoyable and that's fine. I think for us after drinking like a thousand bottles of wine, Literally, I think, you know, we kind of grow out of these types of wines just because they seem so, the, the flavors and smells seem fake. Yeah. You know, and I don't know if that's just our intuition, if we're making that up, but that's just kind of what it smells like and tastes like, you know, but it, cause it doesn't really, it doesn't really taste like some of the wines that we drink, you know? Well, it's just kind of fake, but, yeah. but there is like a really pleasant, like lemongrass mm -hmm. smell on it now. So I'm actually kind of digging that aspect, 
If somebody else had this, I would still drink it. I would still drink it. No, I think it's I think yeah. it's fine. It's not terrible. No. It's not stellar. Especially at seven dollars. It's pretty good at seven dollars. Oh yeah, it's seven dollars now. So honestly for seven bucks, like this mm -hmm. is pretty good. When it first came out, like twenty, twenty five dollars, like a little high. That's insane. No way. I yeah. would not pay that money for this. But seven bucks? Yeah. Yeah, so I guess this one talks too, and you just yeah, you download the app. Uh the app called Talking Bottles. And then, yeah. And there you go. There you Honestly, go. whoever did their marketing, like, y'all are killing it. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic job on the killing it part. Maybe spend some more of that marketing money on the winemaking because now you do have a good foothold. Show us what you got. Honestly, I think if you took out, I, I do think that they added, like, sugar or vanilla or something. And I think that if you took that out, it would be at least, like, 30% better. I could see that because so many of those flavors, they just... They feel fake. Yeah, it just tastes synthetic. And yeah, I hate they, that, they, like, sort of synthetic taste to it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. anywho, mm -hmm. thank you for joining us. Taste of Wine. You ever had 19 Crimes? What's your favorite 19 Crimes? Maybe who's your favorite prisoner? Who's your favorite? Well, the prison. Are they all prisoners? I don't think they're all prisoners. Snoop Dogg's on yeah. one of them. He's not a prisoner. No. Well, the, that's how, like, Australia was founded as a country. Yeah. Is all the prisoners were shipped over there. So they're, like, representing the prisoner's voyage uh, to okay. Australia. Okay. But Snoop Dogg, he's not from there. Snoop Dogg is not from there. Okay. And I don't think Snoop Dogg has been a prisoner either. No. I wonder if Katy Perry has one. <sighs> Katie, do you have one? <laughs> Thank you for joining here's Taste of Wine. Make sure you get out there Taste of Wine. Let us know if you're trying. Make sure you subscribe. Let us know your favorite 19 crimes. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. Hey.